Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron for the No Step Back DLC included for this campaign as we are playing as the good old Estonia Finland League. But we must talk about the threat, the giant red threat on our border. War is on the horizon. We don't know what for, and we don't know who we will be fighting, even though we kind of do. But we do know the Hawk of War has its towns prime for Harju. We must decide where allegiances lie in the oncoming struggle. Plans must be drawn with a focus on either the, them N words or the, in the south or the S words to the east. Let's see. Which way are we probably going to choose? Well, we're probably going to choose to focus on that bear in the east. Though independent. Well, there goes Norway. The Estonia Finland League has never truly managed to shake off the chains of imperialism from her nation. Germans and Soviets alike have ambitions and designs to entrap the Estonia Finland League into their respective empires with little no concern for Estonia Finland League's right to self-determination. Though many are eager to fight a war on all fronts to maintain Estonia Finnish independence, we must decide who among these two powers is the most pressing threat and take appropriate measures to prepare for the invasion. The Soviet Union is the true threat. Uh, cave to the enemy pressure, no. Uh, owns Paranu. Fortify Tallinn or fortify the border. Either one. Uh, doesn't really matter. Honestly, this looks pretty good because you get no surrender, which looks honestly pretty decent for us. Uh, mobilize the veterans, we could do that, but we don't really need to do that. We do need to go to war with Sweden. Uh, the Germans are at war with the Danes. Apparently, Turkey joined us as well. They're the Turkish Empire, which is not honestly a bad thing to have at all, especially with the defeat of the Greeks. So, um, they're doing actually okay, even though they get... Some German boys got trapped down there too. Um, we're going to go to war very soon with the Soviets, but that's not too bad over there. The Germans are holding the line very thinly, which is a little concerning. As you just saw, Norway did just join the war. Um, hmm. How do we stop training for now? Do we have any, any upgrades? No, no logistics, which kind of sucks. You guys are over here. You guys are down here. You guys are over here. You guys are over here. Honestly, if we could, I'd love to take out Norway first. I think that'd be honestly really great. So let's give some more time. I do want to go to war with the Soviets. Don't get me wrong. I really, really, really want to kill them off. But um, Soviets would be nice. A lot of infrastructure. The Esto Finnish Autobahn. If we can do the Autobahn and get Norway and Estonia. Oh, no, we are Estonia, sort of. Norway and Sweden with us. That'd be really good. Let's arm the nation first. All across Estonia, there are men ready to face the oncoming threat of a Soviet invasion, but lack the equipment to do so. We must be ready, or ready our arms industry, for the rapid production of infantry equipment. A couple comments include, uh, this is a difficult path, someone said. Yep, they tried this path out pretty much. It's not easy, but if it, it can it can definitely be okay. I do want to do Estonia's Scandinavian sometimes well, though. Let's see, what is this? Prepare for the inevitable. We have capitulated. Oh. Covert resistance. Prepare an industrial resistance. Influence of exiles, huh? The Forest Brothers. Well, okay. Uh, someone says, there's a decision to build supply bases faster, which we are building up here, which is 100% true, which reorganize the railway system. By redirecting building materials and railway workers, we can quickly create a small number of makeshift supply dumps along some of our railways. This is, however, not a sustainable way of running the system. But you can... It can only be taken once. The bonus will disappear. If you construct more than three additional supply hubs, let's take that for four months. We get more supply hubs, uh, construction speed, which is one right here, which will be done within a, literally like five weeks, which is really nice. And Lapi, then we'll build like two more as well because we really, really, really need more supply. Someone said the new metas for No Step Back at the time of recording is like 1530. Someone else said it's 2142. And someone says Armored Recon is actually very good. I don't know. I, I, I've not tried that one. So let's see. Armored Recon. I, I don't think we'll convert it now. We don't have... Recon stuff done. So maybe in another campaign, I'll try it out. So we'll see. And then send Lundlis to China and Spain next time. We'll probably try to. There's a lot of green. I love it. Italy's doing really well in North Africa. And we got the Suez. If we get National Spain here too, that'd be really, 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 really awesome. Uh, someone says develop tanks since we went with the Axis route. We'll see what we can do. Tanks aren't really... They're not bad. I love tra tanks. Tranks? I love tranks. But I love tanks as well. But they're just, they cost a lot and it's hard to use them sometimes. Especially as a minor nation like us. And someone also says, slow my voice down. My apologies. I speak, I, as you can tell, I can speak very, very quickly. So, yeah, I speak incredibly fast. My apologies. I will try to limit how fast I speak in the future, but no guarantees. Sorry. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? British investors, Baltic stuff. I guess that was a British one over here. Yeah. We could have gotten some stuff over here, but oh, well, request access support. See guarantees? Well, you know what? Since we're here anyway, let's go get the light aircraft stuff. That's fine with us. Honestly, I was gonna I was honestly planning to join the war against the Soviets right now, but since the Finns wanna do a little damage here, I'm kind of okay with that. Steal from the Turkish Empire. Oh no. Guys. Whatever will we do? Oh, I guess we'll have to import it from the Germans then. So be it. Yeah, we can only build so much at a time, which kinda sucks to be honest with you, but whatever. Well the Norwegians busy fighting us, so the, the well, crap. 
The Soviets demand Karelia. Sorry, they need to create a security buffer for Leningrad. Officials from the Soviet Union have asked for a revision of our borders. They want us to cede Karelia to them, and by judging by the build of the Soviet forces along our border, uh, they will not take they will take no not take no for an answer. How oh, should we respond? Well, I wanted to fight the Norwegians, but it looks like we got a bear to fight on our hands. No choice except the demands. They go to war with us, and we'll open up this front a whole lot more. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. 1940 stuff. Um, fuel would be nice. Let's go 30 percent though. They're going to go to war with us, aren't they? Ooh, that's not going to be good. Yeah, avoid those guys. Let everyone else deal with the Norwegians. I hope the Germans can do that too. Please take out Denmark really fast. We're spread up really thinly, but honestly, if these guys can keep it up here and take out Baku for themselves, that gives us a huge buff to fighting these guys. Uh, railway guns. Ooh. We reject Soviet demands. It's not going to end well. Of course it won't. Why would it? Uh, do some of that too. Ooh, more divisions. Nice. Definitely need you guys. I feel they're going to declare war soon. Are we all mo We're not motorized. We all need to be motorized. Every single one of us has to be motorized. Supplies are just so bad here. We have to be, have to, have to. Soviet ultimatum. Oh, I thought we already had one. They're pressuring us to sign a mutual assistance treaty with them, which would give them the right to station forces inside our territory. This is nothing but a thinly veiled attempt to annex our country, but we can offer little resistance to the forces that have stationed on our border. The game will end for you. Duh. You know what? They're suffering from supply issues too, which is really nice to see. Oh, you cut them off! Oh, that's really good. Which means these guys are definitely going to die. They get, they get to Baku. That's all they need. All the extra fuel. Uh oh. Oh, please don't attack like that. Please. Oh, look at that. There's a, there's, there's a bridge. I love the bridges. That's my favorite thing about the No Step Back DLC provided to me by Paradox. I love the bridges. Oh, please don't attack. And now we've gone to war with them. We're doing okay. We went all the way through here. That's actually really nice. That's actually not bad. Alright, so now they've gone to war with us, which does kind of suck. Can we do anything against them at all? I hope we can. Can we try this? Right here? 84, 85? Can you guys go, like, here-ish? Maybe? Maybe not? We take the railroad away from them. Mexican so Mexican Soviet Republic. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, well, the Germans holding the line here, too. We're just going to do, like, decisive, like, small little attacks here. In the uh... This would be very good to grab Minsk. Grab Minsk. Watch out, we're fighting Guatemalans now. Watch out. Cool. Now right, that's going here too. Thank you. Oh, the Turks want to give us a... Oh, uh, yeah. Commun Communist Chinese. All right. Well, looks like the Germans are doing quite well. We'll take that territory from them in the future, hopefully. As long as we get enough score, that's all that matters, right? Oh, what's that you here too? So that's, that's what our goal is. A lot of small little attacks. To make sure that we can just win wherever we need to win and do okay ish. There you go ish. Can you actually go down there? Yeah, you can. That's not bad. I don't know how good or bad these uh, horse divisions are, but we'll see what we can do with them. Who are you? Who else are you fighting? Yeah, no, we're, we're fighting everybody the same as you. Take another railroad. I love the railroads. Chugga, chugga. Oh yeah, get on the line, guys. Get on the line as fast as you possibly can. Um, ooh, there's tanks there. Hmm. Not looking too good. We should have a supply base built very soon, though, which would be very, very nice. I would like to make it in circle. I don't think we really have the capabilities to do so, though. Not very confident in my divisions, to be honest. I mean, we are Esto, Finland, uh, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania groups, but still. Oh, they attack us? I like that. I like that a whole lot, actually. The more territory we take, the worse it is. It does become for us, though, which is pretty not good. <laughs> well, we are in a defensive war, aren't we? Offensive and a defensive war. So, and the Germans are doing very well up north while taking out the Danes, hopefully. Bessarabia looking a little... F that actually looks really nice for Bessarabia. I love how this looks. Oh, they're doing... Oh. Oh, come, guys, please. Just take Baku. You need the fuel. And this way, the enemies can't take the fuel for themselves. Please, please, please. Pick them out. We're doing really surprisingly well. Why are we doing so well here? Uh, does he still have... What does he have? Five-year plan. Oh, that's just not bad. Not great, though. Um, home of that revolution. Trotsky, yeah, plot in 1940 still. Politicized military. Um, that's nice. Desperate measures, of course. Which means that they cannot take... Uh, what, what focus? They cannot take the lessons of war because they still have desperate measures. Which means they're hurt from organization, experience soldiers' losses. 
for now. So the faster we capitulate, the easier it'll be for us. Um, the Red Army, not bad for them. They're there that far. The Political Bureau, of course. Uh, defensive Industry, Max Entrenchment is really good for them. All right, so not too bad, but not great for them. Not great for us. Skov. All right. I want to take back our tile, but can we actually do that? Yeah, it looks like we can. Estonia joint. Um, sure, allies. Sure, guys. I'll take whatever we can grab from you. It says we can do well. I don't trust them. I don't trust my generals. Well, let's go in here too. See what we can do. How much more industry do we need? We need quite a few more support equipment. I think my bobs. Austerity trains, fighters. Can we get some railway? Yes, yes. Max that out. Well, I'll get one in <laughs> sometime next year. China's. Wow. Improve already, nice. 1940, of course. Let's see anything else here. Yeah, at this point, I'm trying to get tanks would be kind of a long integrated process, so we might still, but I kind of doubt it. It just takes so long to get there, especially as a miner with the. Well, 74 factories is not bad, actually. That's pretty good. But still. I know I could help, just help like, support the attack in some areas here, but I don't really want to. I'm a little lazy. Come on, tell me you took Baku. Oh, they did get Baku. Oh, that's so good. We've got they've got fuel for a long time then. A lot of fuel then. Ninety-two thousand. The German Reich has half a. They're pushing in here a little bit more. And you guys have how much fuel? Probably roughly the same as the Germans, which is not bad. Yeah, that's that's a major failure by the Soviets losing Baku that early. Hmm. You want to go in? I wouldn't be opposed to it. You guys go in there too. Babrushka. Don't let him move. Good. Keep him in place. Take that railroad. Nice. Oh, actually. If you want to get down here, you might be able to cause a diversion fast enough. Uh-oh. Oh, why would you go to war Switzerland right now? Bro. Dude. Senor. That sucks we can win right there. Come on. There you go. Still can't win, huh? Bro, that sucks. You still took the railroad, which is nice, though. You are suffering from attrition now. And now we're grabbing our very superiority. Oh, no, we do have some very superiority. Or at least we have armed the nation. That's nice. All right, after that, develop natural resources. Oil has made our country rich from trade with the Soviets, allies, and our fellow Baltic states alike, and we would do well to invest more into this industry by investing in refineries across the nation. Absolutely. The Germans are doing well up there. I don't know why you would go to war with the Swiss, but whatever. Oh, good, we got that railroad. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. We should get a little bit more supply, maybe. Germans, please take Gomel. Oh, you're, you're, you're actually really, just really, really, really thinly. Holy crap. If you could win right here, please, for the love of God. I know we're going to force you. Who else are you fighting? Now, oh, come on. Stop letting them stack bodies here. Uh, let's keep... They want to keep diverting soldiers away, so we'll keep doing that then, too. Um, three. That's pretty... Hmm. I want to take this tile. All right, overall. You guys can go probably go here, too. I know it's a river, mostly, so that kind of sucks. Oh, you're actually going for Leningrad? Or around Leningrad? I'm not sure if I can really recommend that. Honestly, I'd rather take Leningrad. I mean, I'll support the attack. I'll help you support the attack if you want. Hello. Uh, you're mostly a cavalry guy. What's cavalry defense? Do we have a lot of motorized at all? Yeah, we do. Actually, we'll combined arms. We'll still convert guys to more combined arms and such, maybe. We'll see. You're still going in, doing a good job? Support weapons too, nice, nice. Uh, that's a case, let's come over here. Grab that and half tracks, upgrades, hardiness. Nice, there you go. Now we've got our first encirclement. The Germans know what to do immediately and go on in. It's not going to set the fate of the war, but this is a good move. Fault. Oh. Whale Shanikes. Holy crap, Ola. Holy snazzy daddies. Can you please get National Spain in here? We need the National Spanish. 
Long Yun. Oh, that's nice. I mean, the Turks are doing great over there. Please just don't attack all willy-nilly. Please, 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 please. We're doing well on the Eastern Front. Estonia needs you to do well on the Eastern Front. Please, 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 please. Help them out. Help them out. We're doing okay. But my gosh, we got some real ding-dongs here. But after developing natural resources, invest in the Baltic trade. It's not bad. Trade with neighbors? Well, we trade with neighbors, but we get more fuel. The defense of our nation? Uh... I'll take uh, Axis Baltic industry. Our nation is now rich in German investment. The private sectors of Germany and Estonia are now almost indistinguishable, with many of the same corporations providing work to Estonians and Germans alike. Hey, we got rid of them. Nice. So on a long way to get rid of them. Oh my gosh. Italy. Italy. Germany, please. Do not attack the mother so weak. Oh my goodness. Wow. Italian incompetence. Even though they're doing well, they're literally doing well in Africa. Oh my god. You're trying to do too much at one time, Germany. Relax yourself. Relaxa. We can take this out. We can capitulate to these guys. If we can do that, that'd be great. Encircle and destroy? Yes, please. More railroads? Yes. Follow those railroads, kids. Don't let anyone tell you different. Supplies of the utmost importance here for now. Might change in the future, but at least for now, it's of uh, the utmost importance. We can mostly hold the line ourselves, which is actually pretty decent. How's it looking up here? You're still trying to... All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Whatever. I don't want to look at the other fronts. I don't want to be disappointed. Oh, actually, I'm not disappointed now. They're actually concentrating their forces and actually getting rid of the, a lot of the naval bases. Just don't let them link up, you ding-dongs. Oh, if these guys fail... Oh, it's... it's mm-mm, mm-mm. But they are pushing into southern France. The Wild Trent. Oh, please don't go so oscillate through lane. Please. How have you not capitulated the Danes? Uh, I don't understand sometimes. Um, I guess we we'll go with that one. Oh, no. It's just tried and true. Do we not get that? I do want to try a general attack, but I know it's going to be so bad. Oh, did we get that uh, thing done? Supply base anywhere here, maybe? Roads, maybe? Maybe? How fast can you build it? December 23rd in two months? That's not terrible. Um, oh, we're out of guns. That sucks. Oh, we're going to have a lot of resistance here, aren't we? Oh, my gosh. Well, if that's okay, let's go and build an agency. Rookie. This was a great of the nope. Mogulev. It's fine. We'll win there pretty easily. We've suffered quite 97,000. We lost mostly to the Poles. Huh. And the Soviet Union, we've killed off 61,000. Not bad. Not bad. Could be better, though. Could be better. Good. They like to attack. So do we. These guys are just attacking like crazy. And it's all Turks, almost. Turks, a couple of Czechs. Wait, are those Czechs? No, the German Reich Division. So, Krasnodar are doing really quite well. <sighs> I don't understand how the Germans are still attacking through alsace lorraine and yet they're winning in the southern f French portions. I'm not going to question it. You know what? And they're slowly winning against the Swiss, as we're slowly pushing to basically create Rex Commissariat Oslin. I just... I question the AI sometimes in this game, man. I really do. Uh, that would be good for supplies. Ooh, as we get attacked. Ooh, interesting move. Um, yeah, you're moving in there. I don't want to move anyone during that time. Go Mel. If anything, get over that bridge. Take the supply. Or keep the supply. Not even take it. Just make sure you have it. Don't let it move. Vibetsk is super, super important. Muy importante, as they might say. You're doing well right there. We went all the way around here to Leningrad. That's not bad. I'd love to push him out. Oh, uh, oh, you know what? Something I'm... I, was, uh, I would like to see maybe in the future. Sieges. Like the siege of Leningrad. Wasn't that the longest siege in the history of mankind, the Siege of Leningrad. I hope someday they can, because it's hard to mimic some, something like that in Hoi 4. It really is. If they could, if Paradox could do something like that, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. I'm not sure how it would, it would actually work, but that'd be really cool. Attacking over here is probably a stupid idea, but whatever. Uh, go over there too. Ooh, two divisions. Eh, you're winning, but at what cost? Because we do need to get more manpower soon as well. They are attacking us a little bit though. 
November. We keep looking here, and they're just pushing more. Please, please, please stop attacking. Uh, is it Italian? Who's attacking over here? Please don't attack through there anymore. That's not worth it, I swear. More breakthrough. Good. Hey, Italy actually got rid of its uh, allied problem. Go, Turks, go. Oh, my gosh. I love the Turks. Ah, yes. Yes. Oh, I love it. Good job, Otto. After that one, let's go finish Autobahn. Uh, we're going to wait for that. Request access support. Um, we lack the industrial capacity of Germany, but perhaps we may be able to convince German officials to grant us some extra stockpile equipment to better defend ourselves against the oncoming communist threat to the east. Sounds like a wondrous idea. They exist. They need to die. Commies exist. They need to be thrown out of airplanes. We don't have airplanes. Or uh, 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 helicopters yet. Well, then we'll just have to develop them. Five divisions is too many for us to take out right now. Um, also, supply is really bad around here too, so... Oh, we actually got that one done. Nice. Not bad. I want them to attack up here. Oh, and they're doing okay up here too as well. I'm glad we're not at war with Sweden. Oh boy, that's why I didn't attack them yet. Someone's got some planning bonuses here, don't they? Keep the railways alive. And just push in if you need to. Uh, go here, go here. The bets. There you go too. There you go as well. They are attacking, which means we're going to attack as well. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Keep two here. You're almost done with the battle down here, which is good. And then there you go. Nice. Oh, Uno Division. Or you both go here and get some support from you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. We sung something? Oh. Oh, my gosh. Just. Who's leading the attacks? Uh, Heinz. Heinz, please. Zurk is ours. Wow. I don't ever go through. I'll say Serene AI, please. Well, get some sort of supply this way. Uh, this would be a good supply. I'll let these guys move into there and then we'll attack as well. There you go. Something like that. Not bad. China is gone, which I thought they already were gone, but whatever. Gomel, yes. Gomel needs to be taken immediately. It's a supply hub for everybody here. Keep going, Turks. You're doing a great job. Oh, they're touching us a little bit, too. Huh? Not bad, not bad. We're going to push into here. Take these guys out as well. Can you guys actually... Yes, you can. Nice. Very nice. We're going to get around to Leningrad and capitulate it. That's a goal. We got goals, son. Go in here if you can, too. Why don't you go up there to there? I should have sent the cavalry this way, but whatever. We definitely need more divisions. Oh god, we need more manpower. We're already on the conscript. Extensive. Holy crap. It's almost 41. Let's go ahead and grab this, too. We're going to need more guns where we're headed. Oh boy. Why don't we do that? Kajala. Keep working on it. Keep working on it. Oh, look at it. And it's coming. Nice. Good job, guys. Exactly what we want to see. Well, I do have a feeling that once France... Oh my gosh, that's so weak. Once France does capitulate, a lot of divisions are going to be migrating this way, and they'll help take up a lot more of the Soviets here. Because in 1940, it's cold. Like, like I don't really pay attention to weather that much, but it's pretty bad probably around here. Actually, if anything, don't... Here, just keep down a lot of resistance, because it's not... Oh my god. Well, they're not... <sighs> hmm... Well, that was fast. I guess do the Soviets for now. Not bad. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm doing okay myself. Construction? Yeah, why not? Better planes? Sure, why not? We need more fuel and a whole bunch of other things, but whatever. I would like to make an encirclement here, but I'm, I'm not honestly sure where I can make an encirclement. Hey, they're attacking us. Great. Let's attack them too. I thought we started. Please, thank you. All right, cool. Keep them busy. Keep them busy. Go in there. Um, railroads. You can still see the railroads right here too. Railroads are a little more important, guys, but I'll help you out. Smosk. Yes. Um, go there. Go there if you can, because you can. Oh God, it's probably freezing here. Oh, that's not. Sounds very chilly to me. Luga would be good to do as well for victory point. 
Keep him in place. And I want to cut off Leningrad so badly. I want Leningrad so much right now. Can you actually attack from here too? Oh, that's so nice. Please cut off Leningrad. I still have a poor knob, but still. This is where the siege is going to be super important. We've only lost 102,000. Like, we're being very meticulous about how we do all this stuff. 136,000. Oh, they've been cut off. But of course, it's still getting supplied. Let's kill it off. I want Leningrad. I want it. It's my crown jewel. We need this to connect our lands. If anything, you should give us territory, Soviets. Not you. Yeah, I don't want to push here. It's really bad. Ah, we took Leningrad. I feel accomplished. I feel really accomplished now. Nice. But now they get order 227, which is not good, but whatever. Uh, we'll do the best we can with this. Still fighting in the winter months. Oh, we got the railway gun. I've never used it before, actually. How do we use this? Right-click on a commander portrait to send railway guns to an army. I'll click there to send an army. Oh, you actually get that? Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Oh, my goodness. So where does it go? How do we use this? Um... Oh, that's so cool. Ah, fuel refining, nice. Hey, France is gone. Good job, guys. France is gone. Hip hip hooray, the French blue demon is gone. Oh, and look at that. All those spare divisions. Those Chi Chinese... The Chinese divisions? Swiss divisions make sense, but Chinese? And the Filipino divisions? All right. I'm not going to ask questions. We're just going to go with service by requirement. Thank you very much. Guys, please take out Denmark. You can kill off the French, but you can't kill off the Danes. I mean, my goodness. That's definitely a Hoi 4 campaign, is it not? Oh, it's Sevastopol. Nice. It's going great in 1941. Oh, it's 1941. Wait. Barbarossa didn't start historically until 41. We started a little early. We definitely started a little early here. It's fine with me. I don't really care. The faster we capitulate them, the faster we can feel good about ourselves. Thanks, Venezuela. Thanks. And that's what matters. How we feel about ourselves. Hello. Do we lose stuff? No, we won stuff. We more sunk enemy stuff. I love it. Cool. Would you like to make meet your savior? Probably would, right? What else, love? Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more manpower, aren't we? We fall Paris. Wait, France capitulated without losing Paris. Thank you. Get those railway guns in there, son. Oh. Oh, do we have railway guns operating here? Intel advantage. Um. Oh, maybe the next time we'll see it. Let's see. Because we do have the railway gun right there, quite literally. Some more anti parts and stuff, too. So we engage in combat here. Railway gun bombardment. Nearby railway guns are currently providing bombardment support, softening up entrenched units in fortified positions. Oh, I love that so much. Oh, oh, please, yes. Oh, my gosh, yes. Oh, it's so nice. I want more railway guns. I want more rail. Just rail them hard. How how far does a railway gun hit? That's pretty far. Well, maybe not that far, but it's that's nice. I've never used them before. I'm so excited to use them, though. Actually, since we're here, how, can we convert some of you horse boys? Actually, do we have a focus for horse boys? No. No, so it's totally okay to convert you to motorize then. We actually need more weight, more suppression, more supply. Oh, less supplies, actually. And more defense. And breakthrough. Nice. Very nice. Of course. This is actually a rare thing to happen, but it's on historical, so. You think they'll be safe under a different flag? Honestly, probably not. But whatever. Not bad, not bad. We're doing pretty darn well. We already got Leningrad. I'm feeling pretty good. We've got a crown jewel already here. And actually, yeah, actually, I was thinking about separating and splitting up uh, these theaters a little bit more, or these commands. But at this point, nah. There's too much supply issues up in the north, so. Light tanks, huh? Now they're slowly encroaching our way to uh, uh, Moscow. The Turks are definitely slowed down, but mm, we'll see. I need an army that's just very decisive, that just, just punches holes in the enemies. Because you guys can all come here. I want to make an encirclement and they'll kill them. That would be the best. Roslavl? Roslavl? Yes. Up here, you got one. There you go. You got one. Uh, it's over a river, which is pretty bad. So I want you guys to knock over there, maybe? There you go. Nice. Good stuff. 
Well, yeah, why would they not reject this demand? That'd be really bad if they didn't, if they just gave it to them. That wouldn't make any sense. Up here, just do that too. It's only two divisions, but they'll do pretty darn well. Resistance is chewing us up a little bit, which is a little concerning to me, especially with no manpower. Oh well. Yeah, if we can just break through here to here or something like that, that'd be great. Go all here to there. Come on, our railway guns. Come on, railway guns. You got this. Oh, we got the German railway guns. Look at them operate. Eisenbahn battery 712. Nice. Keep going, keep going. Oh, it's going to be brutal trying to do this, actually. Germans, come on. Help me out. Help me out. Come on. You're not helping me out. Uh, don't let them move anywhere close. Got a little bit of manpower. Not bad. I mean, it would have helped if we actually got Norway and Sweden under us so we can get those cores, but whatever. Not much we can really do about that, can we? Not really, no. Germany, please, please help. Please. You're right there. Okay, you didn't even help us at all. Whatever. We see what you're up to, Germany. So now we need a Shoska. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're actually taking the line. Nice. Do we need more guns? Oh yeah, we definitely need more guns now. Um, do that. We actually have more than enough artillery, which is pretty nice to see. Get more guns. Beautiful. Not bad, my friends. So the attacks have definitely stopped down here. I wish the Germans, come on Germans, do something. How are we not killed off Baron yet? Please, German boys, please. Turkish the Empire do be looking nice though. Do be looking pretty nice. Mechanized, nice, very good. Better already, yeah, please. Not good. Oh, supplies looking very ultra bad right now. Why? Why is it so bad? Supply issues. Uh, we need the rail. Novgorod, go in here too. Go straight up. Indonesian order. Oh, oh, look at that. Everything's falling apart. Take that goddamn supply, son. We need those railroads now. And since you're here anyways, you must kick these guys out, too. Fine. Thank God Denmark's gone. The menace of the fake country that is Denmark. Come on, go in. Athens did control of foreign affairs. What is that? Oh. Many days. Oh, it's looking pretty bad around here now. That's not good. Oh, they are attacking us too, a little bit, which is, I do like to see. Alright, so overall, it's looking pretty darn bad here. Nah, up here. We need this one. Okay, so we're capitulate. That's good. That's actually very, very good, too. Oh, God. We need so much equipment. We sunk, helped sink 11 destroyers. Nice. That'll definitely help out the supply here quite a bit. We need another supply base here-ish. And we're getting invaded in southern France. Not ideal. Please close off the med, guys. Please. You could become spy master. Um, if that's the case, this spot's looking really ultra bad. <sighs> hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do? There's too, way too many Germans up here. What is this? Supplies, of course, are going to be built from damage. Give it a little bit of time, we'll be able to fix that up. It helps we have our land auction too and uh, use less supply consumption. We need more land auction now. War bonds. I wish there was more things you could do against partisans. That would be kind of nice. Uh, where's the next supply area we can grab? Ah, oh, here? Mazev? Not a bad idea to go there to there to there, perhaps. Yeah, I might just be able to go crazy and do that. Um, down here, Shasta would be good for the rail system, but we're not really over there. Uh, oh, supply. We're almost barely over, we're ba barely over our supply limit here, too. Um, go here to here. It is starting to warm up. It is almost April. It's going to get very muddy here, unfortunately. Uh, cancel on these. Did we actually get enough now? No. Oh, boy. We need that. We need... Oh, there it goes. Oh, nice. We need it, need it, need it, need it, need it. Badly, 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 badly. Hungry, yes. Especially since we're owning all this territory now. Oh, it's, look at that. Oh, well, it looks pretty bad, so, but whatever. Come on, please. 
these. Yes, we got it. We got it. Immediately go here. Oh, crap. We got stuff like a tank. Tanks won't stop us. It's only two divisions, but we can do it. I know we can. Nice. And then Esther finished Autobahn. We'll wait. The defense of our nation, a domestic motor company. Foreign designers are fine, but we cannot rely on them in perpetuity. As soon as a proud nation, we must show the world that our designers and thinkers are just as adequate as those from the West. Ah. Good. Nice. Very nice. Oh, we have no supply through because we don't have the railroad. Um, I mean, that's pretty over bare, overstretched too over there, but... Um, it could be better. It could be worse. Oh, do you want an upgrade? Cavalry specialist. That's not bad. Oh, uh, oh, you were a cavalry leader. Oh, my. no, no. Yeah, 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 you are. More attack. But more motorized attack. You might as well go motorized and attack and defense. Go ambusher for more use. Uh, combined arms. Yeah, that's probably better. We're still going to convert everyone to that anyway, so. Trucks are nice. It doesn't save... Any sort of infantry group. Actually, does give us a little more infantry group, which is nice, too. That's a strategy. So, we're getting closer to Moscow, which is nice. Up here, not too concerned about this. I'm just thinking about rails. Rails and roads. And road rails. And stuff like that. So, I guess we're here. We're going to do what we did earlier and just keep pushing. And generally, we're going to hit where we need to hit soon enough. Which makes no sense. It's just kind of generic of sayings, but whatever. Railroads, yes, please. Um, you're trying to attack up there, huh? I mean, I, I can help support you in that, I guess. How are we doing right over here? They're still trying to naval invade. It's fine. It's pretty normal. Uh, these guys are doing slightly better than earlier. They reject much of the dismay of Sir Artur Sark. The German foreign officers decided not to pursue a military relationship with the Estonian Finland League. Gotta find another solution. Well, that sucks, bro. Why? I do kind of hope there's someday that there's more of a system where we can do um, more propaganda stuff. I'd like to see like you know, the whole Goebbels thing with Germany, or even propaganda in the U.S. or you know um, America, you know America and the U.K. I mean, just like propaganda, like more propaganda that that we can bolster the war. For. I mean, obviously we have a war propaganda around here somewhere, but I think that'd be a really cool addition at some time, like a more slightly more in depth, like. Oh, we make this post like with the, so with the DLC with the Soviet Union with Agripop. Oh, we have actual posters here that tell give us little slight benefits to uh, you know fighting against capitalists or fascists and stuff like that. It gives it more flavor. I love it. I love that idea. All right, not bad. I know this is kind of slow going, but you kind of have to go slow. Ish around here, around these here parts. We're going just a wee bit slow. Uh, Got to keep an honest supply. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Um, rails. Give more rails. Oh, I love rails. I like trains. Let's go into there. Bomb living crap out of them. Yeah, uh, we need to take this tower probably. Supplies not bad. They will go in here. Then we're going to attack this tower next immediately too. Supplies looking pretty darn bad though. Supply up is Moscow, really. That's not bad. Bryansk would be very good to grab as well. Actually, take all... Take you... There's only two tiles? Mm. Ooh, how about we do this? You guys go in here. No one's over river and such, but whatever. You guys go over here, too. We're going to make it so we can go around here and grab this tile. It's a tile, it's a tile simulator, basically, at this point. Yeah, it's pretty risky for you guys to be able to take that, but they might just be able to do that. Get some more extraction, because we could use a little bit more steel as well. Japan declared war in the East Indies. Well, I thought they already war with America, but whatever. Netherlands joined the Allies. Whoa. Oh, that's a new front for us. It's not good. Indonesian order, very nice. Yeah, don't want to get involved with there too much. Uh, you're almost done. You must finish that up first. Uh, so, the German boys, you want to take out the Dutch boys so you don't die yourselves? Oh, we're at war with the US, too. Well, that sucks. Um, improve already, not bad. Go over there, go over here if you can. That'd be good. Get some better anti air because that's going to be super important as well. Philippines have been called in. Mm, 
not super concerned about that. Supply-wise, not too bad. Go over there too, Cullen. You guys come up here as well. Government Cypher Schools, pretty good. Good. New dig. That was put on a lot of this resistance because it's going to be really bad. <laughs> really, really flipping bad. There you go. Not bad, not bad. Okay, they proclaim crit. Oh, I forgot to get I have these guys get annexed by hungry. That's my fault. Whatever, I forgot about that. Okay, it's just so ugly. I just can't deal with it. 41, 42. Fuel? Maybe? It seems like we're the only ones pushing along in this route. And we might literally be the only ones pushing along this route because their divisions, ally divisions, are scarce right now and they're not moving too much. There you go. I'll come over here too. Take the rails if you can. Going crazy with rail stuff. Actually, you can't move, but you can help support the attack. Losses. Not that much more, but we've definitely killed off a quarter million, which is awesome. Alright. Yeah, we, we gotta get that tile right now. We need this tile immediately. You guys go in here. You guys go in here. And keep doing front not front wide attacks, but close enough. Actually, send send the horses down here too. Take the railroad. Cut them off. Cut them off. Good. And immediately begin reattacking. Hell, hell, just go here too. And go in there. It's fine. Go here. Nice. Oh, we got it. Uh, they're still connected down here though. It's not good. I wish to, I don't know what I guess I don't want to say I don't know why the Germans aren't pushing up. Because they're sucking right now. Because they have way too many fronts. But I wish to do more. Because I want those victory points. I'm glad I'm not looking at Italy. Uh, actually, that's not too bad. They get Belgium too eventually. Very nice. Oh. Not bad. Good job, guys. Good job, 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 job. Go here too, because you can. And then you guys go right here. Take on some tanks with. Oh my god, rail guns. I love rail guns. Ooh. Oh, we have more naval stuff. Look at that. Um. Base strike? I, what are we making? Anything? Do we, what, what, do we have a navy? We got some subs. Oh, you know what? We'll go sub. We'll go sub, daddy. Yeah. Makes perfect sense for us. Oh, there goes the Dutch. Thank goodness. Oh, they got railroads, which means we want them. We gotta have them. Ace pilot promoted. Very nice. Hello, you're in our way. As we keep taking more territory, it's just getting worse and worse for for us in terms of supply, partisans. It feels a little slightly historical now. Huh. Kaluga. I'm um, going there too. Keep being the crap out of them. I want... Oh, do we have another... Oh, hello there. Yes. More railway guns means more fun. Domestic Motor Company. I want to do that one so badly. But the defense of our nation. Trade with the neighbors. More fuel is not bad. We can always get more fuel, but... Uh, Dockers, we can always build that stuff, too, so... Uh, to the neighbors. Each time we invest trade into the Germans or Soviets, we are contributing to our own doom. We cannot allow enemy troops that have made Estonia with Lithuanian grain in their rations and Estonian oil in their tanks made from Latvian steel. We must instead aid each other to defeat a common enemy. Even though the one makes more sense, but whatever. Look, do they actually... We do have... Good barrels? They're desperate to try to come in. Machine? Nice. Oh! Kurdistan ex Why does Kurdistan exist? Oh. Oh. Supply situation? Not great. But Kalinin would be super great to have this time of year. Ah, uh, the middle of June. Actually, near the end of June, actually. We're on the way to Moscow, my friends. Once we get Moscow, we can burn it to the ground, probably. And we've not pushed on this front at all. Which also not doing too bad, but oh, that's so bad over there. Oh, hello. Infantry leader, ranger, improvisation expert, yes. Oh, actually, we can get some preferred tactics here, too. Um, level 4, Alexander Jackson. Preferred tactic? What do we want here? Infantry assault. Actually, uh, I haven't looked at this too much at all. So what do we have here? Bold attack, more attack and level up. 
Do the spear, political power, conscription level. We need more army XP for this, so it doesn't really matter too much. We'll play an attack. Honestly, logistical focus is not bad. Delay. I'm oh, probably going to go with well planned attack. So let's still go with that one. Can we go with that one? Oh. Well, uh, well planned attack? Yeah, that's fine. 2 2 2. Yeah, not too much experience here. That's fine. Whatever. Makes sense. Uh, Kaluga. Kaluga's next. Actually, if you could go right here and disrupt their supply here, that might help out just slightly. Ooh, are you not being able to win there? I know it's over a river, so I understand why. But yeah, yeah, it feels like the Germans aren't doing anything to try to take the tiles. Like, I get it. You're kind of no, you're not busy anywhere else. You might be busy in Africa, but that's mostly Italian stuff. So Germany, I don't think the AI knows what it means to invade successfully. Moscow can be a frontline city for us, though. Take the railroads. Well, we kind of figure the Germans would put pressure towards Benelux eventually. Go in. Not bad. Go in. Oh, even the Soviets are suffering from some supply issues, too. It's a little re rewarding to see that. You guys go in here, too. That's fine. It's fine. Help them out. Beat the crap out of them. Oh, they wanted to attack us? Okay. We'll go in here, too. If we're fast enough. Ooh, it looks like we're probably not. Oh, go here. Should be fast enough. There you go. Win there too. Moscow, yes, yes. I'm so glad he's got logistics with it, but even then, it's still so god awful here. Nice. Let them attack us. It's fine. Um, tank on tank. Oh, yeah, there you go. We have no tanks, but it's fine. Uh, push out some more. You know, it's going to be really bad here. Good. Losses. We've probably lost more partisans than anything else, honestly, at this point. Go here. There you go, not bad. I want Moscow. We're taking Moscow now. We need supply, don't we? Yeah, we do. Ooh, we're, not actually, we're actually not winning now. Ooh, we cannot win there just yet. Alright, get in here. So we can open it up a little more. Now we're going to try it one more time. With more support. This should save our a lot of, uh, or help us out with supply issues up here once we take Moscow. And we've got Moscow. Oh, that helped out immediately. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, we are we are overburdening the supply base. <laughs> Bottleneck. Rezev, Moscow, from the river, huh? Not bad. Not bad. Why are we pushing so hard and they're not doing anything down here? Oh my god, because supply is so bad. The AI just... They have not moved from the Ukraine at all. Why are we the only ones doing anything here? Why? What's our worst for participation in this? Only 18%, bro? Come on, man. Seriously? We're pushing literally with our hearts in the entire time. The Germans and Italians are just like, Better defend Italy again. I want more railway guns. Railway guns make me happy. Rubber, I guess? Not bad. Take more rails. Oh, they are trying. Okay, I can I can respect the Turks. Maybe some Italians. Germans, not so much. But, you know, whatever. I need to come down here and get... We need to take Tola. Take the river. And then, uh, hop over. Follow it up with... More support equipment? Yes, please. That sounds quite decent to us. You guys go up here, too. See what you can do. Anyone else have upgrades? Not yet. I love railway guns so much, man. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Go in here, too. Don't give them a single inch to, like, think about moving around. Take, take it. Take it. Brinsk. Nice. There you go. There we go. Now, good, 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 good. Because now we get less supply consumption. Even more less supply consumption. Because god dang, Dora, that's low. Sucking on supply. Way, 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 way too much. Come on, we need that supply hub. 
This is looking pretty bad for supply. Holy crap. How's up here looking? Not much better. Why not? We might as well do it because we can. Even though we should probably get women in the workplace. Probably good idea to get that one too. There you go. Even though you don't really need that over there. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Do this instead. There you go. Let's extend the line a little bit further south. So we can actually get some stuff done here. Uh, cast 2. Throw some casts on there. I mean, if you have extra planes, yeah, sure, why not? But mechanized, I don't really care about mechanized too much. We're not going to be able to afford it. Yeah, the Germans are really suffering from supply issues. We're not. If we can't win there, then we'll win right here. We'll win wherever we can win. Time to push up from Moscow, I guess. Oh, three divisions. That's quite a bit. They don't look really super strong, though, so... Nice. Good stuff. Trade with neighbors. And defense of our nation. Civilian industry is of equal importance for defense as an arms industry. The steady helm of machinery will drone throughout all of Estonia as its patriotic people do their duty to industrialize our nation. Oh, yeah. Get to Stalingrad. That'd be good. After that one, let's go ahead and do radar, but... Uh, original designs. From our nation's birth in 1918 to the present day, Estonia has equipped its armies from arms from the Brits, but no more. We cannot rely on the Brits any longer. We must look forward and begin manufacturing weaponry of Estonian origin. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. We have five research slots. That's so nice. How am I just realizing that now by the 50 minutes into this video? Bro, how am I just now realizing that? Oh, I got the cyber done. That's, a, that's pretty good, too. Can you guys come up here? You guys come over here and distract them real quick. And you're gonna, like, just swing around and just go this way. Just start the attack there now. We need supply now. Or really yesterday. Ooh, look at that. Not bad. Yeah. New General Pablo Lipping. Yes, yes. Now we are the ones suffering from supply issues. Not good. Oh, this would be good to take up there, though. Slowly, maybe we might be able to win there. Um, hmm. Two rail guns, not bad. Two rail guns, one guy. Wait, what? Oh, um. Nice. It's all for helping to take out resistance. They are definitely getting more difficult to take out. Oh, they have less than a million manpower, but that doesn't really matter too much. Um, Stockpile-wise, they have no guns. Just like us, probably. Not bad. I do want to try a general attack, but I know it's going to go really poorly for us. Especially without railway guns up here. Hmm. There you go. Uh, a couple guys from here, attack here. If you can, possibly. Thank you. Go, you guys attack here too. Thank you. Strikes. If you want a better strikes, please go ahead. Make propaganda of them. Yes, please. That's a lot of pee pee. Wow. Get more fuel. Yes. Ah, we're looking better here on supplies now. Ah, supplies, supplies, supplies. It's such a supply game now. Don't let them move. No, you don't get. You don't deserve movement. You may have legs, but you don't still deserve movement. Or hell, yeah. That's going to be pretty important. Slowly take more and more bases. Give us that railroad. We need that railroad. Um, it's right here, too. Cool. Very good. Supply is so bad up here, though. Uh, here. Right here, too. Yes. Attrition auto... What do you get? Auto scores any, huh? What do you guys do? 2%. It's so ridiculously high down there. Uh, keep it here ish. Northern France. Just don't ha let them have a D day. How's Belgium not dead yet? Go, Turkey, go! It's only 41. I know this episode has not been super long. But it, we just had to you know, make sure we had to pause for the most part. Or not pause, but really slow. Just make sure we do this efficiently. Because you really have to do this efficiently. You just don't do it at all. Got to be efficient. You got to have that German efficiency. That's why we joined the Axis this time around. Yes. Go in. 
Division for a division. I mean, we're doing really well. Like, we're doing definitely okay. I mean, I haven't really focused on air too much. Do we have air superiority? Eh, we have some green air. Yeah. God, I want to do a general attack so badly. Railroads, yes. Follow them railroads. If we can cut these guys off, that'd be great. But we gotta wait still. I'm mean, gonna that they have no guns, because eventually that's gonna hit, we're gonna hit the point where they can't really, like really replenish how many attacks we're doing. So, and this is suffering from attrition as well. Like, it's not good for them. Are we still mobilizing? Yeah, we are. Awesome. Didn't even realize that. All right, so that's the case. Oh, go here, go here. No, uh, oh, you're not even connected. Okay, that makes more sense then. One and three. Yeah, you guys just hold. I thought I thought these guys were connected or something. My bad. Um, yes, 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 yes. That's fine. Even though I know they're over the ocean, whatever. Um, they still want to move the soldiers around, but we won't let them. There you go. You guys come around here. Two divisions, not very much. That's fine. Keep pushing now. Keep pushing up for now. Actually, you can do well, really well by yourself right there. You guys go here. You guys help them out. You guys go here. You guys help them out. Supplies looking pretty bad. Defense of our nation. Use the original designs. I apologize that we're not getting that far again. Um, it just... you got to be efficient with this. Turkish Empire. Oh, boy. That's not ideal, but whatever. Um, original designs and then complete the armament. Now the modernization of our industry is complete, and we have countless domestic and military industry organizations operating within our country. The Astro Finnish arms industry may finally live up to its to true potential. Yes. Oh, New Zealand, yeah. Yes. It's fine, whatever. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Heroes win it all. It costs a lot of PP for that. Was it worth it? Maybe. Um, you guys go here too. Constant attacks, constant attacks, constant attacks. When we're done attacking, we're attacking somewhere else. There's no such thing as defense. Just lots and lots and lots and lots of attacks. With a lot of horses, too. We love the horses. We love horse boys. And I'm sure I'm missing areas where we could really attack more efficiently, but, you know. I may wear glasses, but I'm not 100% perfect. More than halfway to capitulation, not bad. Go take him out. And then you guys come over here, take him out. You guys come over here, take him out. Yeah, I does not know how to respond to losing all the supply. Or guns, I should really say. You guys come over here and take him out. Nice. And we'll come back down here too. Oh, we got some supplies. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. You actually should be able to win there. You guys should be able to win right here too. You guys should be able to win right here too. Division for division, we can do pretty darn well, especially when they're running out of guns. We just don't have enough manpower for general attacks. Okay, go through here too. That'd be nice. You guys go to here. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Ivanovo? Ivanovo? Yes. 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 Even against our light tanks. Light tanks are just not very strong. Not very strong. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Actually, I don't want you to attack. I don't want you to hold. I want you to support the attack. You guys, on the other hand, will come down here too. Do you have any more rail guns? Oh, we have two. Oh, nice. There you go. I'll send you over to here. I want every army to at least have one. You guys come in here too. That's nice. You guys come over here. Take them out. You guys come down here. Take them out. Oh, actually, go right there. Improve oil processing. Nice. Get the next one too, just in case. We don't have a lot of oil, but we'll take whatever we can grab right now. I kind of stopped paying attention to where all the railroads are at. I'm just like, point and click, point and click, go, point and click, go, point and click, go. No, no, I don't know why Jeremy's doing nothing, but whatever. Point and click, go. You find tanks, you kill them. You find Soviets, you kill them. Uh, enemies, Machuquo, okay, you rock. Uh, that's fine, I don't really care about that. Sure, ooh, that's not bad. He's going to here too. He's going here too, why not? Should be able to win, maybe. Especially with the railroad gun over there. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is kind of ridiculous. Look how well we're doing compared to the rest of the Germans. Or the Axis in general. We're doing really well compared to them. Ridiculous. How many divisions they've left? Doesn't matter. Close air support. Uh, I want to do more air doctrine, but we can't do that one yet. Thank you. More land out attack. Sounds good to us, too. The real heroes of World War II were the Estonian Finlandish peoples. Thank you. 
We go in and kill them off, probably. Yaros level, probably supply hub. And a good one to that. Help them out here, too. And there you go. Good. You guys just push all along here. If you can, just go that way. Just just go. Just see what you can do. If you can cut all these guys off, we'll do a general push and then just take them out that way. Come on. Stall and grab. Please. Please. Cool. Um, there's probably nothing else radical is really going to happen here, so I'm going to read a couple more focuses and try to get some more stuff done and see what happens with the Soviet's collapse. During the Independence War, the war for air superiority in the air and seas were fought by the British on our behalf. But as the Brits continue to grant concession after concession to the Nazi menace, we cannot trust that they will defend us again and we must take to the air ourselves. And the uh, Esto finished Audubon, we'll do that in a little bit. It matters little how well industrialized Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Estonia is if our infrastructure does not facilitate a rapid and continuous influx of labor. By modeling our infrastructure sector after that of the Reich, we may achieve the efficiency they have. And let's see. Mobilize the veterans. Many Estonian veterans were denied the right to vote or uh, sign up for active service for their association with the vast movement. Now that we have taken the uh, government, we may grant these men the rights to serve. And fortify these guys. Border. Tartu is only two. I prefer fortifying Telenin. Though many would like to believe that we can hold the entirety of the Estonian border, realistically, we know that some ground must be sacrificed if we are to survive. Forts around the capital allow us to protect the core of our infrastructure, no matter the cost. And old Saremma. We must be prepared for a long and arduous resistance, though the Estonian ar archipelago lacks the industry of the mainland. Preparing the isles for the last stand will give us a base of operations from which we may support resistance fighters and in time retake our home. No surrender. We already witnessed what life under enemy occupation is like, and many of our men died fighting so that we would never have to see that again. With patriotism rife in our ranks, our armies will not fall quietly. And the long push. We haven't expected our campaign to go so well. Yet here we are, rifles in hand and pushing into our enemy's core territory. Their lands are vast and ours small, and it'll be an arduous journey we must prepare for. Well, everybody, here we are at, in which, as you can see, not really much of a huge change. We've got a lot of land, though, and hopefully we can get a lot of cores, too. I hope I take the right ones. Uh, because we don't have the taste of chance mod, I really, really, really hope we take the right ones, but we'll definitely see... I'll take a lot of land. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's take a look at compliance, because right now, there are the casualties. We've suffered about a quarter million in total. Not bad for us. Even the Bohemian Empire. Well... Look at the human empire. Look at this little tiny blue land. It's considered a major. Also, uh, they've taken about 3 million casualties. We've killed off a million. We killed off a million while taking about 154,000. That's not bad. We got a really good casualty ratio. Here's the commentary. Apparently, no, we're finding the allies too, but whatever. Franco British Union. I don't want to capitulate them because I don't really care. Um, but really, yeah. We have the German Reich owning Baghdad. We have the Al Muthanna Iraq under the Turks. But then we have Ishan Nuri, basically Kurdistan. Zoyban Kurdistan, led by the Italians, which I guess makes sense, but it's very confusing. Oh, and also the Russians, for some reason, I don't know what happened, but they're at war with, or the Soviets are at war with the Japanese. I have no idea how that happened. The game's like super hard now. And now we can go to war with Finland. Not Finland, we are Finland. At some point, uh, Sweden. Uh, so, really for us, actually, I do want to take, oh, we can't take uh, they're the allies. Ah, that's fine, whatever. Um, yeah, I'll see how much we can take. Actually, if anything. What if we were to puppet them? This would be a really bad idea. Probably a really bad idea. I don't want to do, I won't do it anyways. Hmm. We'll see what happens. If we puppet them, though. Gives them a lot more world tension. We'll see. We'll just take the land as much as we can right now, though. Um, Arkhangelsk. Vibetsk. No, we can't do that much. Eh, let's see what, what the, these people do here. Nope. All right. So they're taking a lot of Ukraine, which makes sense. I want Norway, but that they're not really against us. And I don't care about it, too much else here. I just want to take as much land as possible. Nice. Cool. Ivano, Tola. I got, oh yeah, Sikhtiv car. A lot of this land isn't really worthwhile taking, but it's fine, whatever. Um, we're definitely expanding our borders here. And we earned a lot of this, so. Don't feel bad about taking it at all. I, I want to stop with the girls, though, but just because, I don't know. It looks really weird if we take all this stuff and we don't really earn a lot of it. Um, no, yes. Cool, take that one, too. Cool. 
Um, Altai Republic, Vladivostok, don't really care. Tenutuva, honestly, don't really care. I mean, Soviet Union, Far Eastern. Liberate to the Far Eastern Republic. Okay, liberate. I don't want to liberate. I want a puppet. Satellite. Vladivostok, no. Um, they're going to look so bad. Uh, Tajikistan? Why are there so many different people here? Kyrgyzstan. Pamir. I, I'm not going to liberate anything. Screw that. That's not fun. I'd rather just take it. Oh, we don't have enough manpower to, to deal with all the resistance, resistance. Ah, screw it. We're taking, we're taking all the top half. Um, that's not bad. <laughs> we're gonna go all the way to the Pacific as well. Okay then. Oh, we can take Vladivostok too. Oh my goodness. Can we take all of it? A lot of this is just worthless land. We might just be able to take the rest of this. Oh my goodness. Well, we just skip return quite a bit, so. Dude, bro. You didn't. Alright. Oh no, I want you guys to take this. Oopsie. Mexico t should take Mexico to land, right? Did I give that to the- oh my god, did I give it the wrong group? I hope I did not. I gave it to the wrong group- <laughs> whoopsie. Alright, um... Well, there's that war. I think we did really well. I think we did really, really well here. It's not over yet, the Field Marshal. Army Joel Expert, not bad. Uh, that being said, I want you guys up top here. Actually, you know what? No. You, because the Axis took over all this, this is totally fine. Nice. Estonia, Finland, League. We have the Russian Empire here. The death of Rudolf Hess. Portable radios. Not bad. We're going to have like, no manpower, though, and no guns. I was not expecting to take out this much territory. <laughs> ah, I got to love it. Got to love it. So who are we at war with still? Just the Allies? U.S.? Greece? Oh, Mongo Mongolia. Do we have to fight Mongolia? I don't want to fight Mongolia, man. Man. Take you guys out. Actually, take the cavalry over here since they're over here anyways. Or they should be able to move out pretty quickly, so. Sorry, everyone else. There you go, you know that. Who's just fighting on us? Japan. Uh, Alright, address the strike crisis. Um, come over here, too. But overall, not too bad. It's, it's, it's really not that bad. Honor the molotov ribbon Drop Act. Germany and the Russian Empire have already made agreements to partition Poland between its east and west halves. However, our occupation of the east has caused something of a complication in this arrangement. The Lord German allies fully expect the Lord surrender the promised Polish territories to the Russian Empire. We can instead break the pact and continue our occupation. They must be obeyed. Vilno. We have Vilno's Accord, though. Poland is ours. Breaks a pact. Betrays a pact. Do what I wanted, man. Do we get kicked from the faction? Oh god, I hope not. Uh oh, there's Sweden. Oh, I saw a Swede, but I didn't see N. And we do have a lot of railway guns. I love those railway guns so much. Where are you guys at? You taking forever, huh? Hope the supply's not too bad. Oh my god, it's gonna be god awful, isn't it? Go from here to there. From here to there. There you go. Because we do have justification, we need to go to war by the 10th. It's not too bad. Um, it's going to take some serious time for them to move around, though. 10th of October, November. November, we got some time. So you guys can go ahead and head over here, which is fine. Um, Yeah, that... I was going to puppet them, but... Oh, uh, Konstantin Rozhevsky. Oh, they are a puppet. Why didn't you give them the territory? I should just annex them. Mm. The problem with this I don't like is that we can't just give them some of their territory. I like to give them some of their territory, not all of it, but some of their territory, so. Doesn't make a lot of sense. They're still doing Hold Saranza, whatever it is, so. 
There, just let him just get all of our allies in. I don't, I don't want to bother with that anymore. We should be able to do okay, so. And where we can attack, we're doing well. Oh my god, seriously. More strikes. So now that. We should do pretty darn well, right? Are we still making any more divisions? Yes, we are. Pretty laggy. Pretty laggy, I'll be honest with you. How strong are the Swedes? Without the manpower? Which, they're now on extensive, so... Should drop pretty easily. Oh my god, it's so laggy. We'll see. And we'll mobilize veterans and we'll unite the Finnish identity, identity or Finnic identity. With all the major Finns in the Scandinavian subcontinent under our control, we are able to unite the Finnic identity and declare a new state that Estonians, Finns, Sami, Samoyeds, and all other Finnic Ugric people may call home. This core controller at least has 60 compliance. So, if it doesn't happen, I might just have cheated. Because I don't want to go to war with these guys. So, We'll see. I don't want to invade those guys. That's going to be super annoying. How much more do we need? Control. Throndelag. Nord Nordnorg. Lapland. Because Italians owe it a lot of this territory right now. Ostland. That's bandit. Um, can we ask for control state like this one? Yay! They gave that one. Best vended, also vended. Do we need all three of these? That'd be pretty bad if we do. I kind of think we do. Trondelag, yeah, controlled by us. There's a core of the controller, six compliance, Nordrag, Lapland, Norland, Mermansk, Onega. Oh my god, getting 60 compliance is going to be so long. Alright. Mobilize the veterans, of course. Defeat the Swedes if you possibly can. Defeat the Mongolians if you possibly can. What do you have here? Permanently. Oh, yeah, we have wall plan attack as well. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Yeah, we need more manpower here. Holy crap. We're going to need some manpower. Just strike crisis, not bad. Let's land it. Throndelag. How are we supposed to get more compliance? Hmm. Because I don't want to wait that long. Hmm. Alright, so we still have guys down here. Oh, we lost a ship. Any upgrades? No? Not bad. Sweden's falling pretty nicely, though. And who's just the fighting on us? Greece. And what do we not have? Manpower, of course. There, have some manpower. Any more railway guns? Darn. Oh, yeah, we do. Nice. Vast anti air is very good as well. Um, followed up with construction five, yes. Very, very good. Mm, get those railways as well. I don't know, compliance, it seems very difficult to get a lot more compliance than it was in the past. Propaganda efforts. Overall, not bad, though. Pretty good. Like, this campaign, I'd say it was successful overall. Especially when we could take out the Soviets. That's pretty nice. Heroes are the protection fund. If you want to buy that, please go ahead. Want heroes win and all. Oh, look at Sweden. Nice. So, is controlled by or as a subject is a core of its controller or has six compliance. 
Honestly, I don't want to wait. I mean, it, I feel just fine just going ahead and just, like, using console commands. So, I don't like that at all. That you have to 60 compliance. It makes sense. But, it, you know how long? It's going to take literally years for us to get 60% compliance. Way too long, in my opinion. Way, way, way too long. So, we'll probably use console commands, unfortunately. Um, to at least get that focus. Because that's, that's the main focus I want to get done. Because that's literally, like, the last one besides these couple ones. So, I do apologize. I don't want to use console commands, but... Why? Why? Norland? Let's take a look where Norland is first. Hold on. Like, look at that. We gotta get this, too? I mean... I I'm not gonna invade the UK. There's no way we're gonna invade the UK. No, absolutely, absolutely no way. So, unfortunately, for this campaign, there's not much we can do. We could just spend the next seven years, literally, like, next four episodes, preparing for an invasion of the UK, capitulating them, and then taking out America as well. Which I'm not interested in doing whatsoever, so I feel a little slightly justified and using what and doing what I'm about to do. Well, everybody, here we're at. Totally didn't use Consumans to get the Empire of the Finno Ugria. Honestly, you know, I don't know. I, I'd like to be able to get more compliance, like rapid compliance, stuff like that, maybe in the future. I don't know. It makes sense why people want to comply very often, but you know, I'm not gonna wait literally like 10 years to get 60% compliance. So I do apologize about that, but it is what it is. And look at all the manpower we get. That's so nice. That's so nice. So, I do apologize for using console commands, especially at the end of like an hour, over an hour video. But sometimes, in some campaigns, I'm just like, this is just not cool. Why, why are we doing it like this? This makes some sense, but I don't think it really fits. It does fit somewhat, but I don't know. It is what it is. But hey, I, that's going to be the end of the campaign just because we got other campaigns to try out. But we have the Empire of Finno Ugrio, no matter what, which. Looks pretty cool. But if you enjoyed the campaign, let me know your thoughts about this campaign in general. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.